Welcome back to another edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. This week, we visit a magnificent mid-century modern in the Wynwood subdivision of Oak Cliff. We stop by Samuel and Galleries and talk about their show with pop artist James Gill and Modern Dallas Cool Spaces stops by Nouveau for all your holiday gifts, one of the best modern stores in town. Stick around for the calendar, the art scene, and enjoy this edition of Modern Dallas TV. Modern Dallas Real Estate today is at 509 Hall Street. We're in the Wynwood subdivision in Oak Cliff. This is a beautiful mid-century modern. I'm here with uh, Brandon Stewart with David Griffin and Company. Brandon, this is a great MCM. It sure is. It's absolutely, and we're happy that you're here today, Jeff. This is a uh, classic mid-century modern. Uh, three bedrooms, two baths, 2,235 square feet. Uh, it was built in 1955. Uh, Architect was involved, his name was Forrest Upshaw Jr. And the home is uh, quite spectacular. It is, I mean, for the size, this area we're in, I mean, the windows, it's a fantastic space. Yeah, the particular space that we're in, this living area, has floor to ceiling glass. Uh, the homeowners actually replaced it all with double pane glass, which is extremely rare in a classic mid-century modern. But it really uh, opens up the space and allows the interior and exterior to sort of blur together into one giant space. What are some of the other benefits of the house? Uh, there's a fabulous walkout basement, um, which is pretty rare in Dallas as well. Could be used as a home office or even a uh, downstairs living area or a mother-in-law suite. That's true. And um, there is a swimming pool? There is a swimming pool. It's a large third acre lot and uh, there's a swimming pool at the rear of the property. The Wynwood uh, subdivision in Oak Cliff was originally envisioned by Angus G. Wynn Jr. as a modern development with efficient, well-designed, high-quality houses located in a self-contained community, complete with a nearby shopping center and convenient access to downtown, located directly north of the Wynwood Village Shopping Center. Wynwood North's larger lots of mature oak trees attracted both noted architect Bud Oglesby as well as the Hare and Hare landscape architectural firm. Today with its large shaded lots cohesive houses and proximity to I-35, Wynwood North neighborhood preserves the atmosphere and convenience of an original post-war American suburb. No wonder the Dallas Observer voted Wynwood as the best neighborhood to live in in Dallas in 2012. Brandon, thanks for having us. This is a great home. If you'd like to see this home or get more information, go to uh, mod214.com. Correct. Or go to moderndallas.net and see our real estate listings. Experience LED at Lights Fantastic Pro, our sponsor on Modern Dallas TV. Lighting is changing at warp speed and there's definitely an LED revolution going on. You'll see a curated selection of some of the coolest new LED fixtures from some of the best brands around the world. Visit their 12,000 square foot showroom minutes from the new Nebraska Furniture Mart in Louisville off the Sam Raven Tollway. Come see for yourself how lighting can enhance and change your next project. Modern Dallas Art this week is at Sam Mullen Galleries. I'm here with Michael Bivens, CEO and curator of this fine gallery. Uh, thank you, Michael. This is an interesting guy, James Gill. Very interesting. Uh, uh, if you met him out someplace other than this gallery, he would probably be not the type of person that you would think would be capable of doing art like this. So it's, uh, it's interesting. But then when you hear the story, it's, it all falls into place. He's no youngster. Uh, I think James is uh, claiming to be 81 years old. So he's got a wide variety of stories, history, background. I mean, Pop really was what, the 60s? Yes, no, he was one of the original uh, members, really, of the, uh, of the Pop movement starting uh, in Los Angeles. It, well, that's actually where he, he's originally from West Texas, but moved to Los Angeles, I believe, in like 61, 62. And it was actually even still the beat generation then. 
and he's got great stories about Ken Kesey, Jack Kerouac, and all those guys, Allen Ginsberg that he hung out with, so it's, uh, it's very interesting. And then he transitioned with the times, with the, I guess the hippie movement and all that stuff started taking place, so it was very, very interesting at uh, the time that he lived there. So tell us a little bit about his process, because obviously we've got Marilyn Monroe, we've got Elizabeth Taylor, John Wayne, the Beatles, these are all you know, superstars. Absolutely. Well, the definition of pop art is, uh, pop was just short for popular, uh, and it was just uh, what was current at that time. And uh, most of these stars, or a lot of these icons that you see were very popular, movie stars, musicians, uh, of the sort. So what these guys were doing is they were just kind of conveying what was intensely popular at the time, and they were conveying that through their art. Uh, so uh, he tells me a quick story about he, uh, he, he had a girlfriend back like in 64, 65 that made shirts, did these custom made shirts. And uh, she asked him to go with him one day to uh, the Whiskey A Go Go. It was a very popular nightclub on Sunset uh, Boulevard in Los Angeles. So he, uh, the girlfriend takes James in there and uh, introduces him to a guy named Jim Morrison because she had been making shirts for him. And he said, uh, fine, I'd love to meet him. And I think they were the house band at the time. He says, but Jim Morrison, I didn't know who he was until, you know, uh, a few years later. That right. He, absolutely. So what's the process? This is all acrylic on canvas? It is. What he does is he creates digital prints. And he, it's, it's very interesting, his process. He will create on the computer a particular print and he creates, it's almost like painting on the computer and then what he does is he comes in and he kind of completely uh, does an overlay of paint with acrylic which is just extraordinary. Now back in the day before technology caught up he, everything was totally free painted. Uh, now sometimes they would use like Warhol and all these guys, Lichtenstein, Rauschenberg, it was a combined mixed media where they would bring in photographs, they'd bring in collage and cut things up and then paint it, so it was a combination of all the above. This is a wonderful show. Definitely want to come and visit at Samuel and Galleries. How long is it going on for? Uh, it will be hanging uh, through January 12th. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, you can see it here at Samuel and Galleries at 1105 Dragon Street. Michael, thanks so much for having us. My pleasure, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. The holidays are upon us and Modern Dallas Cool Spaces this week visits one of our favorite gift stores, Nouveau, for a unique shopping experience. A treasure chest of unique and impressive items, Nouveau features the work of local Dallas artisans as well as designer pieces from all over the world. As the only complete Acme Studio boutique in the US, they offer Acme Studio pens, card cases, watches, compact mirrors, key rings, money clips, wallets and ties designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, Kareem Rashid, Ray and Charles Eames, Michael Graves, Marcel Wonders and many more great designers. They also carry a great collection of jewelry, watches, hand-edged barware and a wide assortment of books and stationery. You'll find a great selection of decorative accessories for your home, a vast selection of intoxicating home fragrances and reed diffusers and some really unique handbags. Allow yourself to be pampered by the collection of the finest European and American bath indulgences and not to mention their selection of books that range from fashion to architecture is extensive. No doubt if you're searching for the perfect gift for a modern Easter, Nouveau is your store. Located at 3311 Oaklawn Avenue next to Parigi Restaurant or you can check them out at NouveauDallas.com Mary Thomas Gallery is a contemporary fine arts gallery offering collectors, designers and patrons exciting and visionary art. Located in the vibrant Dallas Design District, the gallery space provides opportunities to inform, instruct and inspire art collectors. 
Rotating exhibits feature regional, national, and international artists whose works may be found in private corporate and museum collections. Please visit us at 1110 Dragon Street or at MaryThomasGallery.com. To wrap up this week on Modern Dallas TV, on the art scene, Haley Henman opens their show, Winner's Circle, on December the 5th from 5 to 8 p.m. And on the calendar, Dallas Architectural Forum brings in Alan Ricks from Boston, Massachusetts on the 10th at 7 p.m. at the Magnolia Theatre. The open house is a Frisco home, a beautiful contemporary at Two Spyglass Court. You can see that on our website. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern contemporary home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. And if you'd like more details about moderndallas.net or would like to receive Modern Dallas Weekly, Modern Dallas Art News, or this show, Modern Dallas TV, visit our website at moderndallas.net and add your email and we'll sure to send these weekly to you. And for this week, we hope you've enjoyed another one of our wonderful webisodes of Modern in Dallas. We'll see you later.